Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Final Fantasy arrives. And special shout-outs to our friends Square Enix for providing a copy of this game, along with our members who are supporting this series. And you too can join the membership train by just clicking here. The world is not happy because behind us is the remains of Sector Seven, which is now gone. Sadness! They did yes, it. Yes, the membership train um, finances helps Cloud's hairspray fund to stay intact. It's a great hairspray. Well, I mean, I mean, you guys are are helping pay for Cloud's hairspray. Let's see. Cloud is very thankful because he can't go out of the house unless his hair is looking like that. It has to be perfectly in place. Oh wait, this is where we came to get Barrett. So every then. strand. It's funny that like basically in the early 2000s almost every mom <laughs> that, that you meet had a hairstyle just like Cloud in the back. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Oh boy. How could this happen? I didn't really think that... What didn't you think? You didn't think that the hell is going on? they would drop that? Well, guess what? They dropped it. I don't what do we do now? What you were hired to do. Get these people out of here. Where? They lost their homes. Ooh, there should be more survivors than this. this isn't happening. I've got a friend in Sector 7. I know it looks bad, but there's gotta be some survivors. When is help going to come? Wow. If it's sad. Afraid it is. Okay, so this is Sector 6. Wait, where's all the survivors? Uh, maybe they tried to make it out, but they didn't. Hmm. I don't know where they all are, Luke. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. I would too. Cloud's got a terrible. Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original steward to the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Uh oh! Seizure! Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. Man, that guy seems crazy. Uh. Oh, Cloud. He's not there, buddy. Is he? He seems like he's there. It's complicated. <gasps> you have failed again, I see. Uh oh. You suffer, you will grow strong. Snap out of it, Cloud. Isn't that what you want? Cloud? Hmm. It's nothing. Let's go. Come on, Tifa knows something up. Barrett's like, are you okay, man? And he's like, I'm getting over here. You're kind of crazy. <laughs> Barrett's running away from you. <laughs> oh my gosh, now you can see it. Look at that. There used to be buildings, everything up there. It's just gone. Yeah, that's insane. Pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? 
You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Birds? Gotta calm them down somehow. Oh, yeah, the chocobos. The chocobo, yeah. Well, so they not only destroyed the people below the plate, they destroyed the people that were on the plate. Mm, now you're getting it. Wow. <laughs> wow, that music just really gets you. Oof. Yeah. I can't figure out if Seth Ross is actually communicating with Cloud or if he's just having nightmares that he's communicating with him. Feels like he's really somehow talking to him. You're really close on this one. But you've actually played a game where the villain was able to... Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Where the villain was able to communicate with the hero throughout the game through uh, hallucinations. And there was a reason because of that. But I'm not going to tell you the name of the game. I'm just going to tell you mm. that little trivia. Well, I know Zelda was able to communicate with Link in Link to the Past. Yeah. Hmm? Welcome. Are you in need of accommodations? Wow, that's that's okay. Wow, really? Didn't even ask us. Hey, how's how's everything going? Yeah, we should stay. Actually, we're full up on health. We're fine. Thank you, though. Let's go, Tifa. We don't need to sleep. All right, I kind of want to see what Madam M has to say about all this. You would think that Cloud would say a little bit more about like, I'm sorry about your daughter and stuff. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. However, did it come to this? Don. I don't like not knowing what's going on. Yeah, I don't like what's going on either. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I mean, these people are usually pretty lively and look at everyone's, like, sullen. Well, this is supposed to be, like, Vegas, so... But I mean, like, nobody's partying anymore. Nope, there's no sound, there's no nothing. Everything's just kinda... ...dead. Oh, they won't let you explore. We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. So, if you wanted to go and grind or something, you can't. You see mm. the, uh, troops over there in the background? We're searching the compound yeah. as we speak, sir. I mean, Barrett is really upset about his daughter. He needs to find his daughter. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, they're starting to go back to normal a little bit. However, did it come to this? Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? Pretty much destroyed? It's God, gone. Jesse at the pillar. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in Let pretty bad shape. Let me prove, but Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Um, Wedge... Wedge is probably gone, Tifa. I know. We gotta have Barrett something to hang on to because he's really upset. But yeah. Oof, can we stop with that haunting violin, please? It's... Uh, it's just hard. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. Oh, he's petting his little chocobo. You're in the chocobo is freaking out. <laughs> That's so sweet. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. Talking about Jesse and digging through that rumble, there's probably nothing left of them. But we saw it. I mean, why didn't we just tell Barrett that Jesse and. Jesse's dead. Jesse and Biggs didn't make it out. Uh, Biggs bled out, and Jesse, she had internal injuries from the explosion. She's gone. The only survivor's Wedge. The only possible person who could have survived was Wedge. Wedge in the original, he fell. Um, you remember that guy who was just generic, who you called John, who fell to his death after getting shot? Yeah. Originally, that was Wedge. But Wedge in this game used a grappling hook. Oh, okay, wow. 
So it's like fate was trying to be changed, but it couldn't be. Well, I mean, I still want to think that Wedge survived somehow. You actually don't see him get crushed, hey, but... You didn't actually see him get crushed. It was coming down on him, and he was holding his cat. My ears are still ringing from it. Oh, it's already get dark, people. Bob, right? So where's this place it's okay. Marlene, I mean, this is a well, dark story. It's a house on the other We're side in of Final town. Fantasy. Well, it's the end here. of the, Pick up the world. Pace. I'm going as fast as you are. Man, everybody's going to be affected by this. And the, the quiet nature kind of feels like what it's outside right now. With what's going on in the world right now, where everyone's quiet when you go outside. This is kind of how it is going to the grocery store right now. Yep, so this was all televised, too. Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Business as usual. Yep, business as usual. Here's one guy who's doing business as usual. Mm. Exactly. Item, what? Item master? Okay, do one of those. Oof, that's expensive. You have any new VR missions? No. All right. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Oh. Okay. That I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Sweet. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. That's what we like to hear. What's, yeah. what's the new materia, though? Item Master... First Strike... Enemy Skill Materia. Okay. Yeah, so the music here is kind of happy. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Hey, we scanned a bunch of stuff. How come you don't have another thing for us to fight? I look forward to receiving Ah, whatever, dude. Chadley. Shh, Chadley. Up, oh, kicking the sad violin again. Okay, it's actually hard to see in the dark. Oh my gosh, you can really see it from here. <sighs> oh my goodness. That's pretty hardcore. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot different seeing it. So fleshed out in, you know, 2020, then, you know, the old like, chibi version. Mm hmm. It basically was like a chibi version, yeah. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Oh my god. Barrett, maybe don't go barging into that house with that. Okay, your arm, dude, and you just went into some old lady's house. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are we gonna do with you, Barrett? Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. Upstairs. <gasps> she is here! Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> I said she's sleeping. Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't think Marlene was gonna be here. I wanna see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. If I was Cloud, I'd go up the stairs right now Keep before that down. lady talked Don't to me. Don't wake her. <laughs> she hates Cloud. No, Maybe she hates you. you join your friend upstairs. It's a trap, Cloud. Oh my gosh! It's not Marlene? Oh my gosh, it's not Marlene. Oh my gosh. This lady set us up? Oh my gosh. No, Aerith made a deal, remember? Oh Marlene, my gosh. My baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> 
deal. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? No. I didn't know that. She must trust you all a great deal. Huh? Yes. Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Nani? Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. <gasps> Her husband was a soldier. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. That's why she doesn't like soldiers. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Why didn't he come home? And that's how I met her, her and her mother. Oh, maybe he didn't make it back. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. Who was her mom? What do you mean? Her mom was a supernatural person? My husband person. had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. <laughs> hmm. It's cute. It's pretty adorable. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Uh, their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. Because she's an ancient. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? The flowers. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. She's a flower person? Like, literally? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really love just died. Oh, snap! His heart came a long way to say goodbye. Oh my gosh, why would you say but that? he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. Wow. Oh my gosh. Aerith, why would you say that? I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. <sighs> tact, Aerith, tact. Hmm. Wow. Things like that. She'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! Oh my gosh. <sighs> no! Go away! <sighs> Aerith, 
you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! Mm. Hmm. And all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Mm. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. I don't think so. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Aren't you yeah. gonna take Marlene? You're gonna leave okay. Marlene here? She's safe here. Yeah, but we didn't even ask if she, Marlene could still stay here. Why don't we ask now? Take care of yourselves now. Can we take leave Marlene here? Now. Um, is that cool? We didn't. She didn't say. All right. Well, here we go. That was pretty sad, though. I mean, <laughs> just saying. Oh, by the way, your husband just died. It's okay. Don't be sad. You know, your your husband he passed away. But... I think that's worse than actually just getting the letter. Like somebody has a premonition that yeah. somebody died, then you worry about it for days, and yeah. then you finally get confirmation. Oof. It's kind of savage. A little bit. But the creepy way she was like, "Don't be sad." The main he died, so he couldn't make it back. Now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Sorry, sweet. Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything, but. There was this rumbling, and then all of a sudden. <sighs> My gosh. Oof, to hear the characters, like, talking about what just happened is, like, pretty intense. Yeah, it actually gives me, uh, a thing. You and I went through something a long time ago, or the country did, that was similar to that. Mm. That everybody watched on TV. And everybody talked about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. My ears are still ringing from it. All right, so we have to go back through Sector 6 in order to get to Sector 7. Oh, but I mean, like, if I was Marlene and, like, I would be like, you could Over bring there. it to them easy. Like, I would just say something like, your husband loves you very much. He wanted you to know that or something. Mm -hmm. Like, something that makes her feel better, but... <laughs> Just saying he died without any kind of- she hasn't had contact with him for years, that just makes it worse. Yeah. I mean, you have to remember, some of this is uh, new additions to the story and some of it's from prequels. Right, let's keep moving. 
Oh no, not this place again. I'm not very good at this. Well, at least we get a, a change of music a little bit, so yeah. that's always good. My barracks with us, so that'll help. Ah, oh, get off! Oh, Tifa! He was getting stronger. So basically, Aerith lives under the planet or something? Or hmm? She's an elf? Ain't got nothing on me! Uh, no, she's not an elf. I mean, it's... Uh, it's... It would take a while to explain. I haven't really seen... I mean, she has sorcery powers, I guess. But... She has magic, but everybody has materia, remember? Even Cloud said, oh, everybody and their mom has materia. So then what's her real power, then? Um, she has the ability to communicate with the planet, and in the original one... There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. It's how she was so able to shot. summon... Aerith did something where she was able to summon Holly. Or holy, whichever you want to call it, which is the essence of the life stream. Um, although I, I can't really tell you how she's able to summon right. it. Yeah, I don't want to know too much about it, but that's interesting. But nobody else in in the crew has those abilities. Like Tifa is just you know a bar owner and a kick butt fighter. Barrett is the leader of a you know eco group. Cloud is an ex soldier and. Some of these other characters you met in the game, they have different abilities, but none of them are like Aerith. Aerith has a special role that she's going to have to fulfill. Um, okay. Whether things are different than how the original game played out, you know... This, yes, we'll find out. She and Sethroth have very big roles based on their blood. Because Sethroth is an ancient as well. Oh. Why is he show so much an interest in Cloud, then? Cloud's well, just a normal person. Um, Cloud is special. But Cloud's not an ancient. I think Cloud's just special because he's a main character. You'll have to keep watching. Like I said, I don't know what the remake is going to do, but there's 18 chapters. We're on the 13th chapter now. I'm pretty sure this all takes place during the first disc. Like, they turned a five-hour disc game into a 40-hour remake. Mm. So there's three discs in total, right? Or four discs of Final Fantasy VII. It's very possible that there could be, you know, three other 40-hour games. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows anything. Yeah. But there's a lot of material that they could essentially just keep doing Final Fantasy 7 stuff for years. They don't have to make a new Final know. Fantasy 7. Or Final Fantasy Yeah. Me. They can just... They could keep going with this one, using the original storyline, but fleshing it out like more. Fleshing it out, changing it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they can do. I don't have ice powers, do I? I hope Wedge survive. I do too. Wedge was really starting to grow on me. Oh, snap! Did I just get punched in the face? Lame. I like how Wedge just kind of like not really like one of those buff fighters, but like he was just trying his best to like whatever he could do. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Like even if he made a distraction or something. Okay, so we can use ice. Oh, darn. We're gonna have to give other characters ice magic because this is not working out well. Hang back. And sure you can. That's fun, cause you know. Yeah. Street Fighter reference. So you can. Yeah, she did look like a Street Fighter character with that spin kick move. Oh, I hate that move. So. Mm -hmm. Her mom thought she was an alien at first, but then she was like, "No, this planet. I have to return to my planet." Will she like live? Does she, like, live inside the Earth or something? No. She's not an alien. Her spirit returns to the planet? Or... That's what she was trying to say as a little kid, yeah. Oh, so she's not really living inside the planet in no. some, like, group of elves or something. No! That's what I was thinking. No, 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 no. That's funny, though. 
No, no, no. I mean, maybe she is. No, probably oh. not. Uh oh. Um, what do we have for spells, Cloud? Please tell me somebody has lightning magic on them. Someone has lightning magic on them? I don't know. No, that's a. No. Oh, yeah, I know. What about Barrett? Oh, wait, we have to move all Good. of, like, uh, Aerith's stuff over to somebody else, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, no air it's still around though. Sorry, we just have to get her. That's a good idea though. We do like um So she has to say she's willingly coming with them. So the only reason why she said it was to save Marlene's life. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're gonna replace this with that. What if fire? they tricked her and said, Yeah, Marlene will be safe, and then she was like, Okay, I agreed to come with you. Mm. Then after she agreed they didn't put have Marlene safe. That's interesting. I mean, does she just have to say the words I agree, or can she leave at any time? Like, because she already said the words I agree, so therefore they can do whatever they want to her now. Therefore, she might actually be in danger. Therefore, Cloud might be right that she might be in danger. Mm-hmm. All right, let's, uh, we're going to take, um, Aeris, uh, healing magic, because, oh, never mind, we don't need it. Well, so what do those people mean the promised land? Because I thought they're on the only like last scrap of land there is on the entire planet or whatever. Like that you doesn't make any up. sense. You have to wait. You're you're trying to get too far. And remember, this Final Fantasy game takes place based on the first, the Midgar section of Final Fantasy VII. The Midgar section was maybe six hours long, maybe. Now it's forty hours. So, oh, okay. they've added a lot of stuff while keeping true to, you know. So, yeah. But that one character you saw in the previous episode where there was kind of like this, darn, um, like this cat creature that was pounding its fist when he saw Sector 7 fall, that was a character that yeah. you could play as in the original. Oh, okay. Yeah. Buzz off. Interesting. Barrett, do you have... So they tried to keep almost, like, even the characters that maybe are not in your party or whatever, they tried to at least show them in cutscenes, even if they didn't have them playable in the game. Oh, great. That's interesting. Why would they randomly have these robots around here? I mean, that's just, the uh, robots are just kind of a thing. Where's the money for all these robots? Shoot! Tifa. That's bad. Tifa's down. Yeah, Tifa's down. Oh no! Clouds down! This is bad, this is bad, this uh, is very bad. Uh. I don't know if we have a revive. Yeah, we do. That was too close. Um. Let's see, T4 or Cloud? Cloud. This turn is around! You're up! Great. Okay, guys, don't botch this. Well, now this- I don't remember her ever saying I'm an ancient to Cloud. Unless she said it off camera to him when I wasn't there. Don't know what happened. You got wrecked! That's what happened, Cloud. Alright, um... Well, I'll tell you what, when we mentioned Sephiroth to- or Sephiroth, whatever his name is, to- Aerith? Aerith, she seemed to not like him. Mm -hmm. So, even though they're the same species or something, they don't seem to be meeting eye to eye. Yes, Aerith has a big grudge against uh, Sephiroth. Well, it feels like Sephiroth, eh, whatever his name is, is he seems evil. Like, I don't remember very much about him with Evan children, except for I always remember it seemed like he was evil. And he hates Cloud, but I don't really know much about other than- Well, Cloud did kill him, so I mean, that- Oh, maybe that's why he's connected to Cloud. Maybe. That's why he hates Cloud so much. Are we going backwards? Oh, wait, why would- Oh, I guess I'll find out. I won't ask too many things, then. Oh, your inquisitive nature is very Let's adorable. Let's see, so Sephiroth is a war hero. Cloud killed him. That could explain why Cloud's not in the army anymore. It's a good guess, but there's more to it than that. Okay. Because people are pillaging people's homes or something. 
They're bandits, so yes. Okay. Or are they people grocery shopping? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're good at this. Told you so. Okay. Where are we? Ah, it doesn't matter. Hmm. I liked the mom talking about how, like, Aerith was sad, but then she started talking her ear off. That sounds exactly what it's... Like, I remember when I was a little girl, I would talk all the time, too. Mm -hmm. That's how little girls basically are. Some of them. Well, I guess every little girl is completely different. They all have their different personalities. Yep. Just like that, okay? See how uh, the train crashed, too? So... Sector 7 train ended up in uh, yeah. Sector 6, Sector 5. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, how is the government going to explain all this? I guess they're going to say Avalanche did all this? Yep, they already said that Avalanche is a uh, bad guy group that's connected to a country that they've been at war with. There are other countries in the world? I thought they were the only country. There's other dome cities. Oh. This is just Midgar. Oh, there are other places? I thought this was the only place that existed. No. Oh! oh! Alright, that was unnecessary. Darn it. Man, if this isn't the only country, maybe the other countries are better. No. They're all bad. Oh. You have to keep watching, though. Alright, so this fool... Allow me. Of course he's weak. Everybody... Rule of thumb, most humans are weak against fire. Never again. Bye. I don't know, but playing this game kind of reminds me of some of those weird futuristic, like, novels that we had to read in school. Good job. Like, there was this one where... Basically, like, about utopian societies in the future. Mm -hmm. There was this one where this person, like, did everything they could to escape because they believed there was something on the outside. And then when they finally left the, left, left the futuristic, oppressive, like, futuristic city, there was, like, Christmas lights and people singing, and then you never knew at the end of the book if they actually escaped the utopian society or if they just dreamed that they did and they died. And then my teacher was like, well, it's open to interpretation, whatever you think. <sighs> and I was just like, what's the point of this book if I never knew if the person escaped or not? Waste of time. <laughs> I don't like those open to interpretation things. I want to know what really happened. Did they escape or not? It's important to me. Don't overdo it. Alright, Tifa can use ice on these holes. That's just how I feel. That's fine. All right, shut him down. Blizzard, let's go. Freeze. And like I said, it's always good to- Ah, oh, no! So oh. They're, like, they're like city states, city countries, basically. Basically. We gotta switch it up. Mind over let's do this. Don't give up. Okay, Tifa can't do anything yet. I was hoping that I could use hey, my ice magic on it, but not so much. That's too bad. Maybe Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett should make their own city. CBT? Yeah, they should make a city... Oh, yeah. CBT, but they should make their own domed city. They know enough about tech stuff. Over there. <gasps> that way out. I don't know. I'm almost afraid to go back. To see it with my own eyes. Tifa. Come on. I don't think you want to see it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I I feel like it's going to be de really depressing. I mean, it's not. I mean, that was their home. I mean, would you want to go back to your home and see it completely devastated? Especially knowing that there's a bunch of people that didn't make it out onto the plate. No. It's disturbing. I didn't go back to uh, New York City until 2000 and... Um, 10? I know you didn't, honey. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, that's... what this is basically like. This is gonna be rough. Whoa! 
Slimer! You're alive! Crewman number six. Still in one piece? Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. He's like, yeah, sure. Hope. This is bad. <sighs> oh, there's more survivors than I thought. Yeah. It's a miracle anyway. There's our bench! Yay! Bench! At least the bench survived. <laughs> That's what I care most about. <laughs> Who cares about all those people? I care about this bench. <sighs> that was restful. Never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Yeah, you have a point. Like, you need plenty of hair gel, like that guy has. Careful out there. Oh wait, what stuff this does he have? This is about all I could carry. So he has limited stock. Mm, I see. Um, wait, is that another version of Tifa's song? Oh, he has no weapons or material or anything. Don't push yourself. Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see? I know it's not much, but it's all I got. What does he have? Weapons? Uh, uh, I guess that's a pretty good weapon for him. Gossip Bangle. Oof. Oh, that has a lot of... Oh, that's expensive. Oof. Three slots. You know, we're gonna do one of these. And then, I guess we can try for a... How much is that? 4,000? That's gonna clean us out completely, though. Uh... We'll hold off for now. Godspeed. Hmm. Uh, I'm not seeing wedge here. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. I don't even know where to start. There's a the little girl. I really hope that all my friends are okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. Betty's dead. Yeah. <sighs> so, I guess we're gonna head underground. Back to the sewers. <laughs> Yay, the sewers again. Back, back, back to the sewers. But... Is this how we're gonna get to Sector 7? Maybe. Mm. Okay. Let's see what's on the other side. Okie dokie. Finally, I can oh wow, those there. people do not look like they're having a good day. Wait, stuff is still shif shifting up there and stuff? You can rest easy, folks. We can assure you that Sector 6 is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer. Oh, wow, so people are still trying to escape. Okay, this is so heartbreaking. I wish I hadn't made it out. Don't say that. It will work out because they always have. person said I wish I hadn't made it out. I suppose you're right. Ah. The house was pretty old. That's the... And it's not like we had a lot of money saved up. Oh, because she lost everything. That one was a lot closer. Wait, what is going Hello! on? Is there anyone out there that needs some help? Is there still stuff falling? Yeah. Probably. Oh my gosh. Just 
just a little more. Come oh on. my gosh. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. Oh, she's crushed. There's no way. Mara, you're yeah. alive. With me. Ready? <laughs> no way. I know. She would be like. Great job, guys. He'd be carried on a stretcher. Thank you. <laughs> Tifa gives the best hoax. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? What no. bar? Maybe you should go take a look. <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. I wonder if some Careful. people... The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Well, did there... There Hello! was... Under Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! There was an underground part of the bar. Maybe some people hid in there. Maybe. I take it that little Marlene is safe and sound? Yes. That little girl's a hell of a lot stronger than you might think. I hope so. Anybody out there? <sighs> hey! Hey! My gosh. If you can hear me, shout! Mm. Can you hear me? Anyone there? Yeah, so... Hey! Hey! Everybody that lived up there, and everybody that lived under here. So about 50,000 people in total. Wow. No, the bar's gone. Why would that lady want us to go back here? So depressing. Tifa. <gasps> watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Get back! Ah! Okay, this is not a safe place to be walking around. Shit! That's Wedge's cat. What? No, 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 no. Let's follow it. No. Ready? One, two, three! Wedge! Oh, wow. But I thought the plate fell on all these houses. They're still kind of here. Weird. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Okay. Follow the cat, I guess. Kitty wants us to follow. It won't let me go down. Hey! We're coming down! Stay right where you are! This place reeks of Shinra. Wedge? Wedge! <gasps> Barret! Man, this day is going from bad to worse. Man, that's a huge hole. Mm-hmm. Tifa! Cloud! Shout if you can hear me! Hey! They're still up there? 
we're playing is. But there's no path, you gotta make one. I didn't even see Wedge though. Where was Wedge? I don't know. I guess we're playing as Barrett now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Alright, we still don't have a lot of money. Wait, yes, we do. Well, I'm just glad Marlene is safe. Mm hmm. Why is the story making me feel for all these characters? <laughs> They're just pixels. No, these aren't pixels, honey. These are something else. Barrett, party of one. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett needs no other party members. Alright, so he had a leather brace. Now we're gonna give him... Why is it that I want Marlene and Barrett to be like a duo? Like, I want little Marlene to meet his party. Yeah. Marlene can like do her special Marlene stuff. She can give people hugs and Barrett can destroy people. Mm -hmm. And also give hugs. Alright, we're gonna give him fire magic too. Because, why not? There yeah. we go. Alright, Barrett's good to go. Uh, He's like, I'm the last 90s action hero. I know, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's handy! Die, rocks! Making enough noise there, Barrett? Hang in there. Um, what is going on? Who are those people? Bunch of bugs. Barrett's so cool. Yeah. He's got energy for days. Dang. Barrett does feel like an action hero, doesn't he? I just want to see Barrett the movie at this point. Oh, please, yes. Ooh, yeah. I thought that lady would be really freaked out about Barrett running in there with his gun, but I guess she already knew that Marlene was in there. It's like she was already told that like, that was Barrett's little girl. Um, I don't think she was. Oh. It's just like, when does he run out of bullets, though? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I feel like Barrett's so cool he could like form bullets in his own arm. Like I don't know. There we go. At least somebody kicks stuff again. He could just take iron sub supplements and then make his own bullets. Hmm. Tattoos are a nice touch. How long mm -hmm. it take to build all this beneath our feet? A Wait, long they, time. They build all You're this stuff down. underneath. This is underneath up. Sector 7, yeah. Bring it Why did they build all this extra stuff? And they could have easily had everyone escape and come down here. Mm -hmm. They obviously didn't want that to happen. Alright, so Blizzard against these fools. It feels like Jared kind of needs an audience, though, to watch him, because, like, when he has other party members, he's... Like, everyone's watching him be awesome. Mm-hmm. He's still pretty awesome. Don't stop now. Okay. Oh my gosh. I feel bad for everyone who Barrett comes up with things. Barrett's having a rough day. Goodbye, puppy. All right, so there's some type of weird lab that was down here. I, fr I feel bad for anyone who tries to date Marlene in the future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Man, you think they dug halfway to hell? You really want to throw down with me? We don't have any assess magic, so that's not good. What was the point of that? Oh, so you could get to that chest. That makes sense. So what do you think of the story so far? Pretty exciting? Uh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna use ice against this thing because we know it hurts it. 
I'm gonna guess uh, fire against the flying bug things. And finish this one off with a blizzard. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that was well placed. Nice. Well placed, Barrett. Well done. Okay, nothing here. Um. Suck on this. Not liking that noise. It sounds like some type of monster or something, you know? Yeah. Kick. Um, why did they have me come in here if there's nothing in here? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. You know what this man needs? Flamethrower or bazooka or something. Oh, I thought you were going to say he needs a uh, big slab of meat or something to fuel his energy. I think he's but got yeah, he tons needs, of energy. He does. He does need a flamethrower. Wouldn't that be cool? Barret upgrade flamethrower. Uh oh. No, Get it off! Barret! Oh my gosh. Worst day ever. Gross. Poisoned. Alright, let's see how you guys like against uh, this. Oh my gosh, those things are gross. Yeah, we need to heal as we move forward. That we don't. Well, especially because we don't have anyone else in our party, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. You really wanna throw down with me? This again? <gasps> Barret, watch out! Crazy thing is attacking you. Oh my gosh. Ice? We have to wait until we build oh, up our yeah. ATP gauge, so. but yeah. Catch it See ya. Nicely See ya. done. Man, those things are gross looking. Shoot the fan. Barrett doesn't care about. Just no escape in the mist there. He can climb that huge ladder with one arm. I know that is hardcore. Yeah. Barrett still surprises me. Man, this really facility is huge. Down. Yep. It's a little chihuahua. Oh no, not a chihuahua. No, this is a rat. Rat. Whoa. Alright, we're gonna try it. Nope, now focus shot. Let's use fire. Flame on. Ooh, uh. We're into the unusual size. Our OTSs? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really gonna enjoy burning it all down. Easy, Barrett. Well, you wanted to be able to play as Barrett before, Amber. You got your wish. I know. Hey, I did get my wish. Wish. You okay? To tell you the truth, not really. I think there's a nest around here somewhere. Can you take care of it? I got you. I can hardly hear Tifa. There's a nest of creatures. Oh. Oh, it's a bat cave. Or something cave. Nice shot. Oh. Huh. That did it. He apologizes to the bugs. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna get down there. Hmm. Or across. Um. Maybe. Teeth is so ladylike. What? Oh. Is there like a. Oh, we met up with Tifa now. 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. All right. Gotta go find ways. Come on. So Team TBC is just Team TB right now. <laughs> team TB. All right, I like that. <laughs> Teeth is like, whoa. Nah, she likes that uh, Korean boy band type. I don't know, I mean. Barrett's. She's Barrett, like a, her dad. Yeah, Barrett's a lot older than her, but. It's like a father figure. Oh, there was more than one of these things. I mean, the manliness factor is like times one million. Oh my gosh, yeah. Barrett is like. Alpha Alpha male. Mm -hmm. Just he's holy pretty, cow. He's pretty awesome. Pretty intense. Uh oh, there we go. Good times. Alright, so then Tifa's like, I'm gonna have my guy oh, hear him. <laughs> no. Like, did you just no. not like that. She's no. a one man kind of thing. I mean, girl. Yeah. Alright, we know Blizzard. Did it just dodge? Okay, that's not good. Alright, let's see dodge this. Team Barret Tifa. And ice. Nice job. Maybe dial it back a little? <laughs> that was funny. No way, we can't dial it back. We're awesome. Ify, you're cramping our style over here. He just literally shoots everything open. I love it. <laughs> just like, man, an obstacle what? in my way? Shoot. We don't have time for a key. Exactly! Also, I don't think they need to worry about being quiet, so... Yeah, there's absolutely nobody here left. <laughs> I think they're gonna be surprised, but they easily could have evacuated the people. Yeah. They had the means to protect the people and they didn't do it. Mm-hmm. That's Shinra for you. Yeah, they should answer to some kind of criminal charges, but since there's nobody over their heads to keep them accountable. Mm-hmm. Except for basically Avalanche, that's it. Yeah, but Avalanche aren't saints. Not Barrett's crew. I mean, there's another version of Avalanche. Oh, okay. The, think of them like the League of Shadows. I see. Okay. All right. Okay, guys and gals. Unfortunately, that's going to do it for today's episode. Join us next time as Barrett and Tifa try to find Cloud and Wedge. Yeah! Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, the exploration of the underground of Sector 7 continues. Stay tuned later tonight for more Trials of Mana and a live stream on something else. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!